to be a Madam Ant, it takes a lot of integrity and perseverance, and you have to work really hard. You have to be able to work on a team, and you have to be able to come in with a great attitude and ready to learn and hold an epitome of a great dancer for the organization and to the community. To be a Madam Ant to me means to be a good role model and to entertain the crowd at games. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, loyalty, and I'm going to say hard work again because there's a lot of hard work that goes into being a Madam Ant. Typical practice, um, it depends. Beginning of the season, we are learning, working on fitness, so we will start the practice by learning for two hours and then we will have our workout for an hour. And then in mid-season, it is still learning. Fitness is a big key. We will always do fitness and cleaning and reviewing for game prep. Typical game is definitely an adrenaline rush, which sounds corny, I understand, but it's not. It's a long night. It's a good six or seven hours of your day, but it's so much fun. Game time, we get to the games approximately two hours before the game. The, about the first half hour that we're there, we go out onto the actual Coliseum, um, the Coliseum floor where the guys play the games, where we are going to dance and we speak what's called space our routines. We get everybody out on the court and we get into our formations because our dance studio is smaller than the performance area that we have on the court. So we space everybody on the court into your position so that we know where everybody is. We'll also run through the routines a couple times so that our coach feels that, it's, again, they're game appropriate. It's a completely different environment being in the Coliseum versus in our studio room practicing. So we have to make sure, again, everybody's on the same page, everybody gets it, everybody gets the feel for the way we're going to be doing the dances. After we're done doing our warm-up and practices on the court, we go back into our locker room and everybody finishes getting what we call game ready. Make sure your hair is all curled, makeup, lipstick, we put our uniforms on. Before basketball games, I get my hair and makeup, put it on, and I jam out to music to get me in the right mindset for the games. And then for the last hour before the game, we go out and we welcome all of the fans into the stadium, to the Coliseum. We always greet the fans, we're always out there smiling, we're the first people they see when they come to the game. Everybody participates in that, all the girls are out there greeting, we all have to be out there about five minutes before the door is open, which is an hour before the game, um, and we are out there for a good 45 minutes. Everybody grabs their palms and we get ready to head out to the game. Alright ladies, let's have a good game! Madam Ants on three! One, two, three! Madam Ants! While we are out there for the game, we run out. Um, it's the minute that we come out into the Coliseum floor, everybody has to make a whole. We have to make sure that we're here and we get our game pieces on. Everybody's ready there for the entertainment aspect of things. After starting lineup, we do go back, the girls split in half and we have girls sit on each underneath each side of the basket, half the teams on one side, half the teams on the other side. Um, we sit there for the remainder of the game and then throughout the game we have various timeouts and in between quarter breaks is when we go out onto the court. Um, we'll either perform the dances that we had prepped earlier in the week for pra with practices or we will go out and do what we call bumpers or ditties which are just small little dances to um, the music that they will play during the games walk people throw t-shirts out into the crowd or they play games or something like that with fans. Your We're always out on the court, we're always engaging the crowd, we're always putting our smiles on and doing everything we can to stay involved with the community and the fans. Two dances a game, they are just broken up throughout. One we do one during the first half, one during the second half. During the game I do get nervous before dancing, especially when it's the first time that we are doing a dance or I'm in the front row. <laughs> when I hear the buzzer going, I know it's our turn to go out and dance. I get a quick rush of adrenaline and then I get out there by the time the music starts, you just I completely zone out and, and then the next thing I know I'm smiling at the crowd and the music's done. Everybody runs back out, we do say goodbye to all the fans and then we tell them all to have a good night, wish them a good night and hope that we get to see them back.